Hilton said that the search of hotels with charged connectors was the fastest volume of growth to date worldwide, jumping from fourth to second highest in converting searches to actually staying at its hotels. In other words, Hilton realized that if it has EV charges at its hotels, it is about 10 times more likely to get people to stay there. Now, clearly, Hilton is not the only hotel chain in the world to have discovered this news. This is just the start of Tesla's mega plan. Tesla has been doing what Jeff Bezos and Amazon routinely do, undercutting their competition by just ridiculous numbers in order to take market share. Market share is probably the wrong word in order to create an enormous monopoly on EV charging in North America. This is just part of their latest plan. This announcement of an additional 20,000 charges at the most popular hotels in America. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is another move. Yesterday, I revealed a video showing you really revealing what I think a lot of us know. We sort of secretly know this, but we don't want to believe it because we think it's just too aggressive. It's too kind of um, scary to think of one company having this much power. Now, if you want to know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description below to my video about Tesla's master plan to become the Exxon Mobil of North America and possibly even more so because Exxon Mobil, what do they do when you go there, right? I mean, when you go to a gas station, you pull out your credit card, you pull out, pull out your card, you pull out some cash, you pay, and you walk away. What do you do when you use a charger? Well, generally, you've got to create an account, right? Now, what's Google's net value based on? It's based on data. Data, 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 data. That's the primary value of the company called Alphabet. What are they worth? More than a trillion dollars, something like that? Fluctuates here and there, but you get my point. Data is king. Now, Tesla is just saying, well, hey, Wait a minute, we can get data from rich people that go to wealthy, expensive hotels. Hey, we'll undercut everyone else to get this contract because we want rich people's data. We can sell to them everything under the sun. Tesla has secured a deal to deploy 20,000 universal wall connectors at Hilton hotels. In other words, 20,000 charges. That's a big number. Tesla's deal is for Tesla's very clever new charging station. It's basically a charger that will connect with almost any EV. Hilton and Tesla already had a deal to install Tesla level two chargers, known as Tesla wall connectors to Hilton locations all around the world. In 2017, they already had a deal for more than 200 locations, but this changes the game completely. We're going from, I don't know what they have now, I think it's probably about 400 locations, we go from that to adding an additional 2,000 locations in North America alone. Through an expanded agreement with Tesla, Hilton today announced that beginning in early 2024, up to 20,000 Tesla universal wall connectors are slated to be installed at 2,000 hotels in the US, Canada, and Mexico. This makes Hilton's planned EV charging network the largest of any hospitality company in the world. Well, Hilton's a pretty expensive hotel. I often look at the prices of hotels when I'm going somewhere. I try to pick the cheaper ones. I've never picked Hilton. Put it that way. The deal appears to have been secured with Tesla's new universal wall connector, which was unveiled last month. The new level two charger uses a NAX connector to charge Tesla vehicles and upcoming EVs from other automakers like General Motors, Ford, Nissan, yeah, I know, how, I know that Nissan haven't publicly agreed, but they will. Honda have. I mean, it's just a matter of time before they all do. Basically, you have to use NAX with all EVs made in the US from about 2025 onwards. But it also works with J1772s. It has the adapter. It can technically charge all electric vehicles in North America. So it's a perfect level two charger for a hotel. You're not going to get any customers saying, Oh, we can't use the charge. We don't have the right plug. This is this is terrible. How could you do this to us? Customers who are, want to pay big bucks, stay at the Hilton. They'll get a pretty boutique experience with these charges. 
Plus, they'll give their data to Tesla when they have to create an account to use the charger. It's brilliant. I love this idea. With at least six chargers at each of the selected hotels, Hilton will become the first choice for the dramatically increasing number of travelers, well-heeled travelers, who drive electric vehicles. This announcement follows the recent launch of Tesla's Universal Wall Connector, a product designed to seamlessly charge any North American vehicle model, expanding Tesla's efforts to make great charging available to all EVs. That statement was from Hilton. So Hilton is doing a bit of Tesla spruiking for Tesla. Interesting. This hotel chain said that search of hotels with charge connectors was the fastest volume of growth to date. So Hilton's just gone, okay, what is everyone searching for? And people are saying hotels with charges. And the Hilton's like, well, what are you doing, idiots? Call Tesla, make a deal. We want to have charges everywhere if this is basically a corner of this market. And the thing is as well, most, the fastest growing EV segment is, you know, the higher priced cars, 40 to 40,000 US dollars to say 80,000, 100,000 plus. Rebecca Tanucci, the Senior Director of Charging Infrastructure at Tesla said on the announcement, a key priority for Tesla charging is installing low cost, convenient AC charging anywhere electric vehicles are parked for more than an hour or two to ensure electric vehicle adoption at scale. Our joint industry goal must be to vastly improve upon the traditional gasoline vehicle owner experience, not just to meet it, but to improve it. Installing infrastructure at popular destinations like Hilton hotels enables EV owners to charge where they park, meaning no unnecessarily refueling stops along their journey. We applaud Hilton for their leadership in this space and look forward to continuing to ramp this critical program with other industry leaders. Now, if you want to be part of the big boys club, you can't really drive an internal combustion engine vehicle anymore. Now, imagine you pull up to the Hilton, right? You're staying at one of the best Hiltons around and you know, you're in the you're in the rich boys club where you're aspiring to be and you pull up there with your 2021 Audi whatever, Mercedes, Benz, BMW whatever it is, and all your buddies have new EVs. They stick them on charge overnight. Wake up in the morning 100% ready to go. You though, wake up in the morning and your petrol tank is still 50% full, 50%. So on the way, you know, you gotta realize this, a lot of internal combustion engine vehicles have small tanks. We just like to compare EVs sensationally. So often we'll compare the range of say, a long ranged internal combustion car versus a short ranged EV. But the reality is a lot of internal combustion engine vehicles might only have 500 kilometers of range. So you're getting out and your mates are driving their EVs on the road and you're like, hey guys, I have to stop at the gasoline station. Now, this is the way I see this going in this luxury segment. There's gonna be a lot of, you're in with the crew, you're in with the new. The old is gasoline, it's internal combustion. Now, not everyone will be like this, but I see this as a growing segment. When you pull up to your hotel and you see all the new cars, all the nice new cars, all charged, all ready for their owners to go in the morning, you're gonna think that's a premium experience. Anyway. It's most likely Tesla is already in the process where they've thought 10 steps ahead of us, of us, you know, lesser beings. <laughs> what do I mean by that? Well, this is just one hotel chain. I think there's a pretty good chance that either Tesla or the other hotel chains have already called each other and are already in the process of organizing similar deals. And Tesla, I'm sure, will do this at, I'm sure they have very, very competitive prices that will be lower than all their competition. And therefore, Tesla will basically own this entire market at all luxury hotels in North America. That's what I think was likely to happen. If you don't, I would really like to know why. In the comments, let us all know in the comments, because this is actually a bit scary. This is going to be a monopoly. What are your thoughts on that? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.